good morning children so in last of some of my videos we have been discussed about the peasants revolt in assam valley okay so the peasants of assam they have revolted against the british administrations against their policies revenue policies against some of the measures which has been taken by the british administrations so for all those reasons they have been revolted against the british so like the valley you will similarly or parallelly the ethnic hill tribes they also goes completely against the british administration so today we are going to discuss the ethnic revolt the ethnic hill tribe revolt against the british administration so we will start with the jaintia revolt okay so first of all we should understand that the jaintia kingdom which was annexed by the british east india company in the year 1835 and from the jaintia king rajendra shina that time the king was rajendra shina and in the year 1835 the kingdom was annexed by the british east india company so first of all we should understand why the peace loving people of ethnic hill tribe goes completely against the british there should be some reason okay so let by point wise we will understand what are the reasons that makes the people of jaintia goes against the british administration first of all attitude see the british office officials they have a high handed attitude okay towards the hill people so this make the jaintia people turn against the british administration okay due to the high handed attitude of the british administration towards the uh, jaintia people this is the first reason the second reason is that the british under the british political agent the diwani and fozdari responsibility given to the dalois okay but the foreign administration always try to find fault in them did you understand first of all we should understand that who are the dalois okay so in the jaintia kingdom that you can dalois are regarded as a chief of any area okay any specific area chief suppose gaubura in in, in today we can say you can say, uh, compare with gaubura he is the headman of a village like that in those days in the jaintia kingdom dalois are regarded as a chiefs of uh, of a specific area so they have given the responsibility of what diwani and fozdari diwani do you know court small court and fozdari a uh, type of magistrate okay so they were given the responsibility under the british agent but what happened the british always try to find fault in them so this also made the uh, dalois or the sardar uh, make um, uh, they um, goes against the british administration this is the second reason now let's go to the third reason third reason is that community fishing and collection of firewood okay so in uh, we all know that the hill people they used to they used to uh, this one collect firewood and community fishing uh, so what the british they did they made ban that nobody can from now can uh, do fishing and uh, this collections of firewood was totally banned okay so this is also one reason one reason which make the people of jaintia turn against the british administration now another important reason that we don't like everybody that is what the interference interference on what interference in the religious and traditional social practice the british the administration what they did they are trying to interfere in the jaintia's religious matter okay in the traditional matter so this is also one reason which make the people of jaintia turn against the british administration now 
another reason is that banning of the use of weapon okay what sort of weapon they have some this traditional sorts of weapon which they are using from since generation so the british administration what they did that they uh, imposed ban okay uh, they ban on this local meat weapon so this is also one reason and the last but not the least that is many types of tax imposed on the jaintia people such as house tax income tax etc okay so these are the reason why the people of jaintia goes against the british administration now see the people of jaintia they decided to make revolt against the british administrations against the policy which has been implemented uh, to them so they have decided that they are or they are going to organize a meeting and in that meeting they are going to make plan how to revolt okay so they make they organize a meeting with the dalois and sardar and they begin prepare for revolt okay so how the revolt start now let's go on that when the british implemented house tax okay the jaintia raised the banner of revolt by removing the tehsildar of jawai okay the revolt start with the impose of house tax on the jaintia people the jaintia people never they have paid any tax in terms of cash but when the british impose house tax and this house tax should be paid in terms of cash they raise the banner of revolt and it, uh, by removing the tehsildar of jiwai okay so this the news of revolt spread in other parts of the jaintia kingdom and the people from jaintia pur uh, mula uh, mulagul Jaflong and Sarah area, they too revolted against the British administration. So, what happened? Normally, you know that when they revolted against the British administration, what the British administration will do? They take stern measure. Okay, they adopted stern measure to stop the revolt. Okay, but it was not success. Instead, what happened? a strong retaliation take place and that time one person his name was yukang nonba okay again i am repeating yukang nonba he under his leadership he doubled the strength of the revolt and he organized meeting their people their general people they participate and in that meeting it was decided that they are going to overthrow the british from their kingdom and who take the lead the leader was uk nonba okay so they make plan that they are not going to stop now they are going to do strong retaliations so on 17 january 1862 okay on 17 january 1862 the jaintia made a sudden attack on the british camp at jiwai okay on the other hand the rebels blocked the two road connecting jiwai cherapunji and cherapunji jaintiapur the attack was strong okay and the rebels killed many of their opponent many british officials okay so automatically the british will not stop what they did they also retaliate and are what happened the violent conflict between the both side badly hampered the uh, badly hampered the people in both side okay the rebels they are killing their opponent and on the other hand the british military force torturing the people the innocent people inhumanly okay so this uh, the situation has become worse okay so to control the revolt or to control the situation 
which was started under the leadership of Yukeng Nongba, uh, Nongba, the British administration entrusted the military and civil authority of Antia Chantiakil with the Brigadier G.D. Shower. Okay, so he appointed uh, this G.D. Shower as Brigadier to control the situation. So after his appointment, they took some measure and they adopted some policy. What was the policy? First, they promised a general amnesty. Okay, amnesty means uh, pardon. Okay, in in another English term, it is known as pardon. Okay, to then if any uh, this uh, rebel surrender voluntarily, they are not going to give any punishment. This is known as amnesty. So they have promised and they. Uh, they announce okay about their amnesty to the general people they if any rebels uh, surrender voluntarily they are not going to give punishment so this was the first policy made by the british uh, administration on the other hand what they did they announced an award of rupees 1000 for anyone if anyone captured the uh, rebels leader you know the name you can nongba and alive uh, and uh, hand over the British alive okay and then hand over the British alive so for the leader you can Nongba they awarded uh, an award money uh, amounting to rupees 1000 so what happened ultimately the leader of the rebels he was captured and after some days, he was hanged to death in presence of a huge crowd. Okay, this is what about the Jantia revolt. And after his, uh, after the hang of uh, hang to death of the Jantia uh, leader Yukeng Nongba, many rebels, many rebels, they surrendered themselves. So this is the uh, what Jantia revolt. Okay, student, thank you very much.